Hi everybody, this is Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy. And um, on Monday's video, I mentioned very briefly that if you set your um, rose stamp up on your stamp radius, it's a lot faster to use. And then I thought, well, I should probably show you what I'm talking about. So let me show you what the stamp radius looks like. The stamp radius is on page 184 nope 164 of your catalog and if you're interested in the tabs like this for your catalog be sure and look at Connie Stewart's simple simply stamping simply simple stamping something like that Connie Stewart and she has a download you can make the tabs for your catalogs but anyway um, so this is a page 164 all the stamparatus supplies and let me show you what you get so in your with your stamparatus you get the base looks like this in two magnets now I cover my magnets in tape and that just makes them easier to pick up and such be careful your two magnets don't clink together because they are so strong that they'll clash together and break you also get the foam pad this is for um, your photopolymer stamps so it takes the place of the pierce mat the stamp and pierce mat and then it comes with two plates they click in here like this one two and you get instructions which we don't need anymore because we have YouTube so things you can purchase is the deluxe foam mat which has a cover that you or a, yeah like a cover you can wipe clean and has the grid marks on it this would take the place of the pierce mat too um, you can buy the mini grid papers. Now you've noticed in my videos, I use these all the time. I use them like a regular grid paper. And then there's a handy dandy little case that you can um, carry it in with the handle and tons of pockets to put all your pieces and parts in. So that's Stamparatus Supplies 101. Okay, so let's show you, let's show you, <laughs> let's make a card and I'll show you how, um, to use the stamp radius and there is a million ways to use the stamp radius and in this video I'll just show you a few okay I like to stamp my use my stamp radius with this corner I'm not going to use them I stay away from the corner because you get a better impression out here on the sides so take my paper now this is a piece of flirty flamingo and it's a um, card front size four by five and a quarter oh yeah no and I'm gonna I don't need the mat because I'm gonna use a red rubber stamp first so I'm gonna just line him up so he's straight along this line right here bring in my peaceful moment stamp set and I want to use this thank you right here and I'm gonna just set him her it up here at the corner where it looks pretty straight Oh, now I turned it so it's not straight. There we go. Pretty good. Bring in a plate. Slap them into, into place under my stamp set so that my plate is flat. Then close the plate and then open it. And then um, I picked up my stamp and it's ready to stamp. So, ha, so the Flirty Flamingo ink pad, right, is what I'm going to, the color I'm going to use. But I think with ink spots, are easier with the Stamparatus. So ink spots um, come with your paper pumpkin so you can get it to look like this with your paper pumpkin but if you don't have an ink spot the color that you want Stampin' Up! sells uninked ink spots. They come five to a package and then you just drop in some reinker and you can make your own colors like what I've done here with my all old olive and my black memento. So Let's take the ink spot and ink up my little thank you and then just set it down, press a little bit and look how nice it is. Now it's because I'm stamping the same color of ink on the same color cardstock, I wanna do it twice so it's a little bit darker. There, that's a little better. Well, that's a lot better. And then this is called step stamping, I think. I'm gonna move this plate down so I moved it from from here, just down one here, and I'm gonna ink up my stamp again, stamp it down, 
Now this is the cool thing because I want it a little bit darker and I know because I have not moved my paper that it's gonna stamp in the exact same place again and then I can do it. I'm gonna move it down one more time and just repeat this again and again until I'm all the way down. Do, do, do. This is a good humming time down my cardstock one more time. down and one I think this is the last time just like that now make sure they're all dark I think they're all I'm happy with all of them they all look pretty good and what a cute background that's gonna be for my card so then I have a chamois here I've cut it into fourths and I'm just gonna clean my red rubber stamp with that chamois I like to keep my stamp my chamois in a plastic baggie here and that way if you set it down it doesn't get wet on your paper and the baggie keeps your chamois dry for um, well for longer than just sitting out if your chamois ever dries out all you have to do is just run it under the sink some water and get it wet again and it's presto like new stained but like new okay so that's the base of our card and i'm going to take this aside and bring in a piece of whisper white i'm going to oh no you know what we need here we need a foam mat underneath so i'm going to bring in because this is a photopolymer stamp set i'm going to bring in my deluxe mat here my whisper white cardstock i set it i lined it up along one of those grid lines and i'm going to have my magnet hold it where i want it so then i'm going to bring in my stamp set which is to a wild rose and the wild rose dies now this so you know is the prize this month so if you go to my online store use the host code spend $50 I'll put your name in a drawing for the stamp set and the framelits so I'm going to set up my stamp I want the rose and I want the outline leaf so I'm going to just lay them here like this now I'm going to make sure I have my bone folder handy and I'll show you because photopolymer stamps are very um, sticky is a good word and I'm gonna press them down to get them onto my plate but then I'm gonna slip my bone folder in here to hold my paper and then I can move my stamps and my paper stays where I want it okay I'm gonna make sure it's straight again here and then I'm gonna bring in my black memento ink spot hold on I need a stamp set under my plate here to make it flat and I'm gonna just ink up. I'm using black memento for my first step, which is the outline step of this stamp. Make sure I ink it up really well. Put my plate down, a little bit of pressure, bone folder just in case. And see it didn't stamp here, so I'm gonna put him down and apply a little bit more pressure. Almost dropped him there. And then it's way better. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in the second plate here. Pop him into the top and bring in the second part of my leaf and lay it where it lines up with the stamp. And the second step to my flower and roll him around until I see where he lines up, no, I think it's this one. Yes, there we go. How he lines up there. That looked pretty good. Let me get my head in the camera real quick and whoop. There. I think that looks pretty good. Now even better. Okay, lay the plate down, slip your bone folder in there and lift that paper up make sure nothing moved and it didn't pick up my leaf hey leaf you need to be picked up with the plate there we go okay let me line up my paper uh oh let's see if it's still lined up because i moved my paper yep i got it back lined up here again 
So now I'm going to ink this one up with Flirty Flamingo. Ink this one up with my old olive. Now, my old olive, I think, is really dark, and I want to um, stamp off. So let me get a piece of grid paper here. And I'm going to cover up just my leaf. Not that way. Okay. And then, yeah. Not ready and prepared. There, I can cover up my leaf here. Not nope, still. There we go. Cover up my leaf because I want him stamped off once and then stamp him so he's not full strength. Got my foam folder in there again. Oh, and now you can't see him at all, so that's the cool thing about the Stamparatus. I think it's my ink spot, so I'm going to go to my big pad. Stamp him. Stamp him off. And then stamp. There we go. Okay. So then, the one more step for the flower. bring him in and line him up next. This is the solid image. Turn my plate over because we have one more side on this plate that we can pick up this um, stamp. My bone folder in there so my paper doesn't move. Much better that time. Get out my ink spot here. Ink him up. Sorry you can't see. I have no more camera room, but you'll see when he comes closed. He looks like that. He's all inked up. And then we'll stamp him down. And then look how pretty my flower is. Now, with the framelits, framelits let me um, get out this framelit and this framelit. And I'm going to go to my die, my die cutting machine and cut these out real quick. Give me just a second. Thanks for your patience. So here are my two um, pieces die cut. Now let's say, for instance, you wanted to make a bunch of flowers. Let's say you have some, you want to make a bunch of thank you cards and you want to make a few hundred. I don't know if that seems like a lot. Or maybe you just want to make a bunch of flowers um, and have on hand for the next time you want to make a card. So I'll show you what I'm going to do is I put in a piece of grid paper here and I'm going to ink up my rose and my leaf again. And then I'm going to stamp down on my grid paper. I'm going to use my bone folder. So now I know exactly where my stamps are going to stamp. I'm going to take my paper that I just cut those two out and you can see it's still placed perfectly. Then I went ahead in advance and I cut out a bunch of just um, whisper white of those two images and now you can run two through at a time with your dies this way and you can take this and then set it in here and in here, and then take up your ink spot, ink up your stamps again. Doo, doo, doo. And then 
stamp them down or place the plate down. And there you go. Look, you have the perfect stamped image on that. And then the same thing. Make sure I got my paper didn't move. It did a little bit. There we go. Then you could ink up this side again. going to stamp off on my leaf. But you get the idea, right? That you can stamp a bunch of them this way and a lot faster than trying to stamp and die cut each time. So another thing that I noticed you can do so if you're like me and you're like, I have two seconds, I don't have time for all this, find a template, all this stuff. So you can take, I'm going to use my leaf as a sample here. Maybe I am. And I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow on here and then spread it with my finger. That way it's really sticky. It needs a little more. But yet it won't, it's, I'm going to let it dry. So it's like a post-it note, maybe a little stickier than a post-it note. And I can just take this and guess about where it's going to go over my leaf. Ink up my stamp again. And then stamp it down. Now, I don't think that's the best way to do it because the leaf is easy to line up. But I don't know. Let's see if I can get my flower to line up like I did my leaf. Oh, I need to put some glue on the back here. Put him over the... I hope I have the border about right. Get my ink spot again here. Ink up my flower. And let's see what happens. Yeah, see how the flower, it's harder to get lined up than the, the leaf was. So this isn't my suggestion, the way to do it. My suggestion, the way to do it is bring back in your template and cut your white pieces and set them in there. But that is a little tidbit on what you can do with the Stamparatus. Now, I would take this plate and just go run it under the sink to get it clean. Same with this plate. But let's finish the card real quick. So I have a Whisper White base, which is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a fourth. Bring in my stamped background here. This is exciting too. Look, I have the new adhesive from Stampin' Up. So as most of you know, Stampin' Up Snail has went bye-bye and they have a new seal it. It looks like this. It come up, I dropped my cap. The cap looks like this, and then they have Seal It Plus, which is like a stronger adhesive. Now, the thing that I like about this is these are two refills. The cases are exactly the same, but when you put the refill in, you can see the dark blue is Seal It Plus, and the light blue is just Seal It, and I think they run like butter. Look how smooth they are, and sticky, sticky. I love the new adhesive. I was so excited to get it and it came in the mail yesterday and well, let's just say I stamped all night long just so I could play with the adhesive. So there's that. Let's bring in a flower that's done because I didn't finish that one and a couple leaves that I've done. I'm going to use dimensionals on the back to hold. I want a lot of my leaf to show so I'm going to go where the flowers like bumped I guess you would say. And I'm going to use dimensionals to hold my leaf in place. Now, if that one's there, this one needs to be about there. So with more dimensionals, and then a couple dimensionals so my tummy doesn't sag, and on my ends of my leaves, leaves, 
leafuses. Anyway, peel those backings off. And set that right there. Pretty. So then I would do something on the inside. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a little bit of my new seal it. And I'm going to just put a little leaf there. There you go. So there's my card today. I hope you learned something, and I hope this Stamparatus um, is something you'll consider getting. I think it's a very um, helpful tool, and um, it, it just, it's pretty stinking cool. So make sure you come back next Friday, probably in the morning like this, and I'll show you another way to use the Stamparatus. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.